Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be riding up the Alp de Zwift at my fattest weight ever. So this is me back in 2020. I weighed 120 kilograms, a sleek figure, I know. Anyway, now I am about 95 kilograms. So what I'm going to do is get a backpack, fill it with all that excess weight and see if I can make it to the top of the Alp de Zwift carrying all of that. So how's this gonna work? Basically, I have a backpack here and I'm going to fill this with 25 kilograms worth of stuff put it on my back, change my in-game weight to 120 kilograms, and then see if I can make it to the top. So to make it even harder, I'm gonna set the trainer difficulty to 100%. What that means is basically the gradient will feel exactly as it would in real life. So this is gonna be a good one, I feel. So I've done a ramp test very recently, last week, and it gave me an FTP of 263. So that means I should be able to maintain that for an hour. So I found an online Alp de Zwift calculator and I put my numbers in. It said if I maintain 260 watts, I would get up in about 84 minutes. So more interestingly is my PR is 84 minutes and 41 seconds. So that's going to be my goal to see if I can beat that. And I think it's gonna be really, really close because I'm not sure I can maintain 260 watts. If it's a correct FTP, I should be able to maintain that for an hour, but 80 minutes is really going to be pushing it. So yeah, it should be very close. Anyway, let's load this bag up with stuff and do a weigh-in. So it's actually pretty hard finding enough stuff to fill a backpack up with to make it 25 kilograms. So I have got two five kilogram weights. These are going straight in. Two random plates I had lying around the house. This is another five kilograms. In there you go. Two tiny dumbbells, 1.5 kilograms each. And currently that's 18 kilograms. And then the last one I have is a big bottle of water. This is five liters of water, should weigh five kilograms. So in the bag you go. Right, this is the first time I've lifted this up. So let's see if I can actually do it. Ooh, that is a hefty amount of weight in there. And all of this is going to be my back strapped on for 80 minutes. So I'm gonna rearrange this before I do the challenge, just put some towels in there and stuff to make sure nothing's digging into my back. So this is the first time I put it on my back. Let's see how heavy this actually is. Oh, damn. All right, this is gonna be a pretty damn challenging day, I feel. Oh, I can barely walk. All right, let's do the weigh-in. I've got my scales here. So let's step on. There we go, 122.6. So I could actually take some weight out of this bag and it'd be okay. Okay, so I've removed one of these dumbbells. So the weight now should be 121, which is still just over where I want it to be, but that's gonna be fine. I can't really bother to fix it. All right, so one more thing before we get into it. I have a trick up my sleeve. So this is the stock cassette, which came with my trainer and 11 to 28. So because this is such a long hill, I wanted the better gearing. So what I've done is I've swapped this out for an 11 to 34. So that should make my life a lot, lot easier. Anyway, that's it. So I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day, get up early tomorrow morning and smash this challenge. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, hello guys, this is it, this is the day. So I've just got a five kilometer lead in now. I'm just gonna make sure everything's working okay. Once I get to the base of the climb, I'm gonna put the backpack on, change my in-game weight, and then it is time to do this. So up on the wall in front of me, I've got all my corner times, so I'll know how far ahead or behind I am. So yeah, that's it. I've got loads of um, nutrition here. I've got some Red Bulls, some gels, lots of water. So I'm actually quite nervous about this one. It's the first time I've ever tried challenge and there's probably not a big chance for me making it to the top. It's very possible that I could get halfway and be like, I'm done. I don't know how draining having this extra weight on my back will be. So the first goal would be to make it up the mountain in any amount of time. The second goal to be will be to make it under 90 minutes, which is about an average of 240 watts. And then the final goal is to beat my PR, which is 84 minutes and 41 seconds. Just going to adjust my trainer difficulty and my weight to the correct one. So the weight, 120 kilograms. I'll go into settings just to prove train difficulty is on max. Yes, it is. All right, so we're pretty much all set. Let me put this backpack on and then the pain will begin. All right, backpack is on. So um, I actually had a problem with my hip clasp thingy. It actually snapped off like a few years ago and I never fixed it. So I just had to wrap some electrical tape around it because if you've ever been hiking, you know, you want the weight to be on your hips, not on your shoulders. So yeah, just don't want to go for any unnecessary back pain. So it feels a lot better when it's on your hips rather than your back. Okay, that's pretty much it. 
all ready to go, ready to endure this stupid suffering. Make the make sure the fans are on maximum blow. All right, wow, this is it. God, I hate myself for doing such stupid things. God, just standing up on the pedals is painful. All right, just gonna give this a bit more tightness around the hips. Don't want that moving at all. Okay, let's go. 25 kg on the back. I think it's actually about 23 and a half in the end. All right, there it is, starting line, let's go. So future Jared on commentary here. So to start off the climb and I go out trying to match around 260 watts. And at first it doesn't feel too bad. I'm managing to put out that sort of power, but quite quickly it does drop off. And I realize that I may have bitten off more than I can chew. So when I want to shift into a higher gear, I really can't do that because my cadence is just so low. Even on the easiest gear, I'm spinning at around 60, 70 RPM, which is so, so slow. So I've reached the first corner in seven minutes and 24 seconds, average power of 222 watts. At this point, I am already down by about 40 seconds. So in my head, I'm thinking that getting up in a PR time is definitely not possible. I'm probably thinking that even 90 minutes is not possible and I already know that it's gonna be an absolute long day in the saddle. So I've reached hairpin 20 and the time is about 15 minutes. So I'm about two minutes down already and this is going to be horrible and long and I hate myself for even thinking of doing this. All right, there's no hope of me getting up in 85 minutes and 90 minutes, probably even 100 minutes because this is stupidly Horrible. All right, honestly, if I make it to the top without getting off this bike, then that's the aim now. This weight just focuses you down. You can't even sit up, even sitting up, it tries to pull you back of the seat. So you've got to always be tense. Uh, this low cadence really gets to you very quickly. I can't get my heart rate up because I can't spin at all. It's all just muscle pushing through the gear, mashing. So the next few corners, I stop so many times. I just can't keep pushing at all, really. Any sort of exertion just drains all the energy out from me. I'm averaging like 160 watts, if that, and my heart rate is so low because I can't spin. So this is not going well at all. I'm absolutely suffering. Everything hurts. The weight just really, it really just sucks any energy out of you. All right, take a break. But I'm not getting off the bike, which is the key thing. Gonna smash a monster. Oh, I believe I'm about a third of the way up, maybe. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. I really underestimated the difficulty of adding extra weight. Fully caffeinated now, 42 minutes in. Let's set a goal halfway. So that's a third of the way up, 40 minutes. Um, 4, 8, 12, 120 minutes, two hours. Let's see if I can get it under that. So with a new goal of two hours, I have some renewed motivation, which lasts all off about 10 minutes, if that. I'm not giving up. I'm making it to the top of that if it, oh, I don't know. <sighs> So at this point, I'm actually starting to get cold because my heart rate is so low and the fans are just blowing cold air on me. So I really need to figure out a way to go faster. Oh yes, this is how to do it. It's all about just leaning forward as much as possible. That feels so much lighter. Right, with that new discovery, it's time to push on in the second half. It's not in the second half yet, ages to go. So I'm definitely the slowest person up the mountain today. I'm averaging about 1.2, 1.3 watts per kilogram, and it's just really taking it out of me. It's just such a drag. Everything hurts, mainly my bottom, so yeah. Okay, 10 to go. Come on. I can now start counting down the corners. Let's see if I can get up there. Two hours, that's it, that's the goal. One more hour of pain. So I'm around the halfway mark now and I'm really starting to suffer quite a lot now, really wondering if it's actually worth continuing. Right, time to oh, settle in, 6K to go. And it's gonna be horrible. Honestly, I'm pretty close to giving up, but 
I just want to make it to the top just to show it's possible. I'm over halfway now, so come on. Oh, I'm stupid for trying this. All right, let's go. So for this whole climb, I spent a lot of time stopped. It's just so hard to get any sort of rhythm going when your cadence is like between 40 and 70. That's really the main difficulty here. The low cadence just means you can't spin. You can't get your heart rate up. You're just using your leg muscles. It's like doing loads and loads of squats in a row. Got just pains everywhere. Everything's digging in. 4.4K oh, is come on. I have zero motivation at this point. I'm just slogging it out. 90 minutes in now, two thirds of the way done, about four kilometers to go. And this is the point where I just break mentally. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think I might be done. My bum hurts and I don't think I can make it to the top, which is very disappointing. Um, I'm gonna take this bag off, set my weight back to what it really is, and then just climb to the top normally as a normal person rather than having this on my back. So yeah, that's it really. All right, so never one to let our Alp de Zwift climb go to waste. So let's see, let's see if I can actually make it up after all that. Oh. Still on a 100% training difficulty, so still somewhat of a challenge to get up. Let's see if I can actually put any power out now. See what's left. Oh my God. It feels so light. <laughs> I feel so powerful without that weight on my back. I'm in the fig gear now and Jesus Christ, I can stand up. God, that just shows how much that extra mass really does make a huge difference. All right, let's not get over cocky now. Um, five, four kilometers to go. I would like to still get up. I would like to push a bit in those final Ks. See what I can do. See if I can get the heart rate to go up a bit. But damn, it's so light without that on you. That weight just drags you down and saps your energy. It's a, it's a major, major difference. Huh. All right, let's dig deep to the top. Let's see if I can actually, you know, maintain a solid amount of watts for the rest of this. So as soon as I took that backpack off, I feel so much better. I can put down some actual power now without feeling terrible and it shows because my heart rate goes up, I can start spinning and my power goes from like 150 up to about 260, 270, which is where it should be. So I really did not expect this to be that hard. I didn't expect the weight to affect my power that much. I thought the power, the weight's gonna be on my back so it's not gonna affect my legs too much. So I didn't think it would be this hard. This has definitely been the most challenging thing I've ever done on Zwift and one of the most stupid. I'm definitely not gonna be trying it again because I don't think these low RPMs are good for my knees. So I'll just stick to climbing up the mountain without a backpack for the future. So yeah, you can see at the bottom, the graph is now red and yellow, whereas before it was like green and blue, which shows I'm actually putting down some power. I'm actually like heating up the room now. I'm actually managing to warm up a bit. My heart rate now actually goes above 170, which is where it should be. And yeah, coming up to the top now, and this has been a difficult one, but it's nice for it to finally be over. This has been a good reminder to me about how much weight really does make a difference. I'm definitely gonna be focusing more on trying to lose more weight in the future because it is horrible having that extra mass. It just makes everything more difficult. So let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments and if you have any ideas about some more Zwift challenges you'd like me to do, be sure to leave them down there as well and I will give it my best shot. All right, just crossing the line here. All right, so I made it to the top. What that proves is I can't do it with 25 kilograms on my back, but, once I take that off, you feel like a different person. So in a way, that's motivated me to lose even more weight. God knows how I used to function at 120 kilograms. And if I get down to like 85, I'll probably be saying, God knows how I used to function at 95 kilograms. So yeah, definitely gonna focus on the weight loss because God, it does make a hell of a difference. So I'm gonna be doing this climb again without the backpack. See if I can beat 84 minutes, which I think should be pretty easy without the weight on my back. So yeah, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see that. And yeah, 
I'm gonna cool down, ride down the mountain now. So be sure to get on Zwift, race me, follow my Instagram if you want to compete in some Class C races. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.